guys Augs here thank you for watching we all know the number one problem we have at chelsea right now is defending set pieces it's happened over and over every single game and teams are targeting us because a set piece just mean a goal so i am suggesting that frank lampard hire some professional to train the player how to defend set pieces but also how to capitalize our set pieces people forget that we haven't scored from a set piece for a very long time maybe not in frank lampard era so i think it's time for frank and uh, coaching team to be humble and go look for help because we've been talking about this every single day since pre-season and it's getting worse and worse every single day you can tell that the players are very afraid when it comes to defending uh, set pieces and it's just like a mental problem right now because they know something is going to happen so we need some professional help here i know frank lampard is working very hard to fix it but sometimes you have to be just humble remember liverpool club even hire somebody for um the throwing and since they they hire a coach to train players for throwing they improve a lot and i'm not going to talk about it right now but in other teams they have uh, a coach for the defense and they can also have the coach for uh the strikers or something else the way we defend looks like nobody ever watched a video and nobody knows where to go and what to do everybody is all over and panicked so in the next video you will see a professional explaining what to do in case of set piece and especially a corner kick take a look okay we're going to talk about today defensive corner kicks so how do you defend against a corner kick there's a couple ways there's a zonal defense and then there's a combination between zone and man-to-man -man. my personal feeling is i'm not a huge fan of the zonal defense but i'll kind of show you how it would look if you did it so sometimes you want to put a man on the post man on the other post and then you have one two three across the middle and another one two three so that's six seven eight there's nine there if you want to throw a man out here that's ten to with the kicker and then obviously you can leave your forward up here so this is a zone each player is responsible for their own zone so say the zones are here 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 right each zone Maybe if they send another player, maybe one of these guys will leave. Maybe the guy in the post will leave and come here. So it'll be, it'll be two against two. But this is the essence of zone defense. I am not a big fan of the zone. And the reason being is you have attackers, you know, wherever the attackers are, however they're going to set up, they get to run full speed into these zones, leaping over the zonal defender. So for me, zonal defense, the major weakness of zonal defense is that these players get to run full speed into the zone and it's a severe disadvantage in my opinion of the defender who is stationary right it's easier to run and jump when you have obviously when you when you have a 10 yard run up compared to someone who is just trying to guard their zone and they have no running um so this is kind of a zone and the next one i'm going to show you is a combination zone man to man Okay, now I'm going to show you a combination of zone and man-to-man. -man. So we start with one player here who's going to be on the post. When I say on the post, he can always start by stepping out two or three feet 
in this area so if any ball comes straight in here he can take care of it if the ball is served in here he can actually step into the goal most keepers prefer one man on the inside of the post there who stops anything coming in and the next three players across in a zone now this could be a little farther out towards the six whatever a lot of the balls that come in five yards or so the goalkeeper can get once you get to about six yards it becomes very difficult for a goalkeeper to get so these guys operate in this zone and then if they're going to have four attacking players here we mark up one two three four man for man on those four players and at this point we're going to have one player a little bit out here if the ball comes out great he can be here to start the counter attack but more importantly if we have a corner here and they're going to send a player into this area, he could stop it. Also, if they drag two players, this player will go and this player will go. So these are your two players who are going to leave to stop a short corner. You're always going to stop a short corner with two. Two against two, not two against one. So at this point, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten with the goalkeeper. And then we always have a forward here, right? So these are your zone players. These are your man markers and another zone player here. If he leaves, he'll step out. So you still have three and these two go two against two. It's a very simple combination of zone and man to man. I like it because these runners now have people running with them at full speed instead of just going into a zone where everybody is flat footed.